This is this is why we have the electric car. This is what got me started. This is an electric, actually an ele a glorified go kart. And it, there's the control right there. This was built for Daryl Gwynn. See the hose clamp? The roll cage snaps off. They built this car in secret. At the 2,000 U.S. Nationals, they rolled it up on the starting line on Saturday night with a tarp over it. The, then they brought Daryl Gwynn up in his wheelchair. They took the tarp off and showed him. Then they helped him out of the wheelchair, and the men set him down in here. And he pushed the thing forward. He went down the Indianapolis racetrack, 20 miles an hour. I was looking at a dry eye in the house. And Daryl came to me and he says, why don't we build two of these cars to look like our 1986 cars that we competed for the World Championship? And then we'll raise money for the Final Court Injury Foundation. You know, right here. Uh, I said, it sounds like a good idea. So we built these two cars that would run about 100 miles an hour. But Daryl couldn't control it with this, what I call a little joystick. <laughs> Up over 30 miles an hour, he'd get off the drag strip. So we kept taking the batteries out. That's how we detuned them. So we got him down to about 32 miles an hour, and he was, he was good with good race. So we ran the circuit. And this, by now, it's like 2003, 2000. It was after I had the fuel drag strip. I would raise over a million dollars for the foundation. And then we took the car to Merritt Track. Mine is up in Tennessee. God says he's going to give it back to me, but I, I haven't seen it yet. I hope he does. But I said to the guy that built them, <laughs> Mike Gary, I said, Mike, how fast do you think we could have went if we took the gloves off? He said, you know, we might be able to go 200 miles an hour. The Swamp Red 37 was born. You'll see it's in the other building over there and they put the dragon. And we raised the record from 156 incrementally up to 185.6 for that car, but it was 2,300 pounds, <coughs> very heavy. And I, I, I'm thinking, it was an old top fuel car. I thought to myself, why do we need anything like that? My Swamp Rat 14 went 240. We just built a car like that and put the batteries in. That's what you see over there. It's built like 20 by 14. <coughs> so that should be good. And we raised and we raised the record by right, back right to 189 first time out, and like I told you the hub broke. So then I throw all that crap away and I put an automotive rear in there, narrow like in Swamp Rat 34. That should be a real good combination. This is the newest thing here. This is electric. That's a 1,500 horsepower motor, electric motor. We have the new batteries. If you when you came in the driveway, you saw the fresh marks. Anybody notice the fresh burnout marks? Yeah. This car made these a few days ago. <laughs> we're, we're set for uh, June the 18th at Bradenton. We have it rented for the actual quarter mile shakedown runs. Ooh. And uh, we think we're going to go to Columbus, Ohio, to National Trails Raceway on July the 11th. They're having a big national event there. And they want to really make a big deal out of it. And uh, they're going to lure me in. We'll have the car there. And uh, we hope to set the world record at that point, which is 202 right now. We'd like to raise it up to about 210. This car is about 1,500 pounds, and we should be able to generate about 1,500 horsepower. These new batteries are really nice. So uh, we got our fingers crossed. But this is my personal shop. Nobody works down here but me. Right there, that's a 1951 Chrysler Industrial Hemi.